In 1988, Nintendo faced a dire crisis. Both Mario 3 and Zelda 2 had been abruptly delayed, and so needed a way to promote the games before the general public forgot they even existed. So they immediately went with the most unnecessarily elaborate way to do it with The Wizard, a movie ultimately designed to be one big ad for Nintendo products. You bet I'm excited. Whoa, here, here I am. We're watching The Wizard today with Adam Diamond Bolt. Wish I was doing anything else. The wizard begins with a child emerging ominously from the distance. A child evidently being chased by the entire police force. This looks like a GTA Online lobby. Uh, just where do you think you're going, boy? California. On these trips that he takes, has he ever tried to see Corey or Nick? Or his natural father? What better way to open a Nintendo family movie than by showcasing the casualties of divorce? Is that the angry video game nerd? This is the biological father and brothers of Jimmy, played by the surprisingly big names of Christian Slater and Fred Savage. So how is he? We're talking about putting him in a home. You didn't even care about him when you had the chance. All you care about is yourself. Why is this so fucking sad? Why do you care about what I do anyway? Jimmy's in a home and you don't care. Mom was still alive, be Don't sick. you tell me what I care about, young man! I kind of feel bad for the neighbors. This here is a tragic example of a family forced to grow up on Sega instead of Nintendo consoles. Tired of his bickering family, Jimmy's youngest brother Cory decides to go off in search of him on his own. Ten minutes into the movie and we're in a mental asylum for children. Great start, Nintendo. Jimmy? Jimmy, we're gonna do a little traveling. Just you and me. California? Is he a Pokemon? Do you like chocolate? Yeah. Good. Get it. Is he kidnapping this child? To go out in search of their missing son, his parents send after them a child bounty hunter. We've hired someone to find him. Mr. Putnam retrieves runaways. Professionally. He's going to bring back Jimmy. So this guy is the Mandalorian, but 100% a sex offender. To his dismay, it turns out that Jimmy's father also kind of wants to bring back his missing son, and so sets out on the same journey to bring him home. Why has he got a tree in the back of his hey. truck? I'm trying to imagine what it must have been like as a 12 year old in the 80s eagerly excited to watch a movie about Mario games and instead getting heated discussions about custody battles. For the record, your two sons, one of whom I am legally responsible for, have decided to eat their way across I don't Utah. see why we're standing here talking about it. I have an obligation to the welfare of this child. You have to make such a pig out of yourself? Where am I? It has taken 16 whole minutes, but it turns out there are in fact video games in this video game movie. And almost instantly, Jimmy reveals that despite never touching an arcade cabinet in his life, he's already ready for face plan. You got 50,000 on Double Dragon? But he was only playing it for like 30 seconds. Two tickets to California, please. You got someplace specific in mind? Why is she reading a sex magazine? Hi. I'm Haley. If you don't tell me what you're doing, I'm gonna scream. This is Haley, the best character in the entire movie. No, he's okay. Just kicked ass on Double Dragon. Was that a curse word in an officially licensed Nintendo movie? Oh my god! Let's see him beat that. He just presses a single button and it makes the score go up to two million. Look at him. He's making the jump. It's his second time through and he hasn't even taken a hit yet. He's a wizard. I bet Jimmy grew up to be one of those Fortnite tryhards. Haley proposes they put Jimmy's gaming skills to the test at a video game competition. With a prize pool of $50,000, what? Hey sweetheart, I'm looking for some kids. The rivalry between their pursuers also begins to steadily become more unhinged. Surely the reward for finding him can't be that great. Oh, okay. Little do we know, Jimmy's actually at the top of the FBI's most wanted. Oh, well, at least they've still got their tree. All right, all right, there's no cause to get crazy. It's very hot. <laughs> Who's your mom? She was a showgirl. Great legs. What? Things are going great until the driver of a truck they're hitching a ride in realizes that they definitely could have afforded a taxi, and so attempts to rob a bunch of 10-year-old children. <laughs> All this movie has been teaching us so far is that the world is a really cruel place full of awful people who either want to mug children or kidnap you. Nintendo. You wanna know, you bought it for him. Holy shit, about time! Hello, Mario. Almost forgot this was meant to be a Nintendo movie amidst all of the child muggings. With the entirety of their money stolen, the trio has to resort to making bets on arcades at random bars. Not bad. Thanks. You got some skill. Some? What do you mean, some? No, my brother over here. He could beat you. <laughs> you 
You're a monster, Jimmy. He killed them. The lunchbox contains the skulls of his victims. They continue conning money out of unsuspecting gamers until they finally run into someone who can challenge Jimmy's power. He's good, but he never beat Lucas. Lucas? Nobody's better than Lucas. Lucas is awesome. And uh, where might we find this Lucas? Ah, uh, yes! They look at it like it's the Ark of the Covenant. Is Lucas's face gonna melt off? I love the power glove. It's so bad. Jimmy is so utterly terrified by the sheer display of power he witnessed that he just full on leaves. No, this is um not a good thing. Huh? I just want to let you know that I'm glad that I'm here. Mm -hmm. Wow, thanks, Dad. So of course the only way to drown out your sorrows is to bust out the NES. Doesn't take much intelligence to play that game, does it? Oh yeah, this game. It's all about patience and precision. And I almost beat Mega Turtle at the end of level three. Wait, what the fuck is he doing? Does he know how to use a controller? Oh. Ninja Turtles made him lose control over his body. I'm Help him. I, I don't know. He, he bolts, he stings. This entire movie is just them exploiting and bullying a mentally ill child. And now we find out some more about the lore of the wizard and that Jimmy had a twin sister who fucking drowned. Oh my god. She didn't go downstream at all. She just died. Mom, I just wanted to see funny Mario. While the kids are having this very tragic moment, the adults are still trying to fucking kill each other. <laughs> How is any of this legal? After making it to Haley's hometown, she and Cory decide that they have to train Jimmy at every game ever made to get him ready for the tournament. During this, the dad and brother stop by a diner where they run into our lord and savior. <gasps> Lucas! He's here. He's always been here watching in the background like the G-Man. Unaware that they should be bowing in his presence, Lucas informs them of the competition that Jimmy is heading to. The creepy child hunter is still a step ahead of them though, randomly running into Cory at a pool. Is no one gonna question why some random man has come out of nowhere to steal this child? He touched my breast! No one at Nintendo actually watched this, did they? After escaping from the casino, Cory and Haley finally have a brief moment of solitude where they're not being mugged or assaulted for the first time in like an hour. Nah. Yeah, information. I'm looking for a. Brooks. Wait, how did he get out of jail? They wake the following morning to find that the guy is straight up just attempting to abduct Jimmy now. Just unlock the door. He can play all these fucking video games, but he can't work out how to unlock a door. He's a real gamer. So you touched her breasts, huh? Oh my god. All right, all right. Let's not lose our temper. It's very hot. Bye, Spanky. Thanks, Spanky. This guy's name is Spanky. And with only half an hour left, they finally make it to the video game tournament, located at Universal Studios. Well, for the prelims, we're playing Ninja Gaiden. Now this is what I actually expected the movie to be about. It only took a fucking hour. Things seem to be looking up for them until they find out that Lucas is there. Well, time to go home. Last and final round. I'm up here, my little beauties. Every adult in this movie is so creepy. We're being taught how dangerous and terrifying the world is. None of this will happen if you stay home and play Nintendo. These games are great. This movie is secretly genius. After the prelims are over, the three finalists are revealed to be Lucas. 169! Yeah! Of course he is. A girl gamer, and unsurprisingly, the wizard. Our three contestants in 15 minutes will fight for 50,000 Smackaroo! Why is this man sweating so much? They announced that the final round will have the three of them competing in a brand new game that none of them have ever played before, making all of those 80s training montages for nothing. Hey! Hey you, you in the black shirt! Up here! They're down there! Over there! Lucas, here, you get snitch! Get this is just turned into an ad for Universal Studios. Please sit down and have fun! Just, just sit down and have fun, damn it! 
<laughs> me trying to get people to watch my video. Meanwhile, at the competition, the host is freaking the hell out about Jimmy's sudden disappearance. What? What? Warning. Where is he? I don't know. There's your cue. He just drops from the ceiling and breaks his leg. Jimmy! Our first contestant, Mr. Lucas Barton from Nevada! <laughs> What the hell is that? That's an elevator, you fucking idiot. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Out of desperation, the host resorts to summoning him via demonic chant. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Jimmy! What? Jimmy! Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy! 12. What? 11. 12. 11. Wow, thanks, Satan. It cost them eight trillion dollars to build all of this for a video game competition that lasts about 15 minutes. Oh, Don't go and buy it right now. Well, actually, wait, right after you finish this movie. And so begins the most intense round of Super Mario Bros. 3 ever played. Jimmy! Watch the mushrooms! I have no idea how they're doing this. How do they know how to play Mario 3 so perfectly? If I went to a video game competition and they were like, okay, now play Deus Ex, I would have no idea what I'm doing. Naturally, as with any late stage competition at the climax of an 80s movie, Jimmy starts off by getting his ass kicked while his friends shout as loudly as possible at him, which I'm sure makes it much easier to concentrate, only for him to miraculously catch up. Then Jimmy somehow works out the exact spot to go to find a warp zone for a game he's never played. Jimmy, why the fuck did you not skip to the last level? Oh my god. In spite of that, he manages to sneak a win at the last minute. How? Lucas was robbed, and then they all drive back home now that they're all friends again, though probably because they're all $50,000 richer. Surely that tree has to be like a safety hazard or something. Oh my god, Jimmy! The credits of this film list a Nintendo advisor and a Power Glove advisor. I doubt the latter is a real job because anyone who uses the Power Glove wants to die immediately. Honestly, overall, I'm surprised at how much I enjoyed this movie. Blatant sponsorships aside, the dynamic between Haley and Corey was really great. I feel like if I had seen this as a kid, I would have genuinely loved it. Can you imagine the pitch for this movie? Who was so adamant about having this be about children working their way through grief with the power of Nintendo? Hey, so we got this great script about a poor Poor child who's coping with the loss of his dead sister. Is, is there anything you want to add to it? Mario. Interestingly, Wikipedia tells me the movie was originally intended to be two and a half hours long. What? Because apparently the script was gargantuan. I'm really not sure what else there was to add to it though. It was probably just another hour of the being robbed. This movie also has the honor of being Tobey Maguire's first on-screen appearance, where he plays generic Lucas Fug number four. Pizza time. I have to say though, overall, it's certainly one of Nintendo's better Whoa, marketing right, efforts. Right. Ah, who am I kidding? This is awesome. Okay, that's all the time I've got. I've got to get back to playing Half-Life Alex on my power glove. With that, thank you all so much for watching and of course to Paper Plane for joining me. And while you all go and pre-order Super Mario Bros. 3, it's finally time that I open some more fan mail. Well, it's certainly been a while, hasn't it? Welcome to the very first fan mail unboxing of 2021. I'm very sorry it took this long. To make up for it, I'm gonna open five mail today. I've been watching that pile up and I'm just like, yeah, we'll get to it eventually. Hi Adam, it's me, Aubrey again. I just want to let you know that the things in Canada are much better with my family getting a dog which we named Oak. Aww. I'm still glad that your channel is still up even after one of your videos got taken down. Don't bring that up. <laughs> my guess is you should be careful on what topics you pick and no worries, I had that happen to me too. Oh no, I'm, I'm pretty sure doing a video on sex ed PSAs was a very good idea. <laughs> Have you watched The Mandalorian yet? Yes, I finally did and season two was fantastic and it just got even better. Will you do a collaboration with another YouTuber? Not including this video, I've got another one coming up after so look forward to that. What happened to Totodile? Why do you hate gorillas? Purely out of jealousy. Will you do Toy Review 6? No. No, no, never, no. Are you still afraid of Minecraft? You bet. Who is cuter, Rowlet, Baby Yoda, or Baby Sonic? Uh, Rowlet, easily. I hope you will still be here on YouTube even if you end in 2161. If I'm still alive by then, please put me out of my misery. In the meantime, I have a drawing of Rowlet with this letter that I think you'll enjoy. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. That's, that is adorable. Thank you, Aubrey, much appreciated. Hello there, human. I am the Great Papyrus, oh God. <laughs> I managed to stumble across your channel on this site, YouTube, and I think that's what it's called, but never mind that. I like the work that you do on this site, and many of these videos are funny, just like my spaghetti. Is this roleplay? Is- <laughs>
Is this someone role playing as the virus? Bah humbug, I should just forget about that. Otherwise, I will have bad dreams tonight. But other than that, I think you're a cool dude. I noticed that many humans like to draw stuff and send it to you. So I, the great papyrus, will send you a drawing of me and Sans that it was not drawn by me and totally not printed. Wow, I can't believe the real papyrus from Undertale sent me fan mail. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Dear Mr. Diamond Bolt, if you ever read this letter, sorry for the horrible handwriting and two thanks. I just want to say you make great content and I love your vids and I hope you're doing well, but I have some questions for you. Who do you think would win in a fight, Ghost Freak or Slender Man? Can Slender Man even do anything aside from just stand there? Do you like Nerf? I used to until my brother shot me in the face. <laughs> if you had one million dollars, what would you do with it? I would donate it to charity. No, I'm just kidding. I'd finally be able to afford the Earthrise Seekers. By the time you get this, it will probably be my born day, November 25th. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's really cool. I hate ABC me. Don't we all? And flown sweets. I'm going to assume these are expired, but... Oh, no. Best before December 2021. Hell yeah. How was the Backstreet Boys reunion tour for you? Ireland, where I live, wasn't hit as bad as other areas, despite people only wearing masks if they have to, and even government officials breaking protocol for a golf party or something. Yeah, how familiar are you with Anime America and Pikmin? If you're new to the latter, I recommend you check out Sugar Corn Ray's Let's Plays in all three games. Remember the guy who asked you why you had Minecraft in your computer and if you didn't play it? I have it for work purposes, which is the very rare occurrence where I need Minecraft for a video, which I think has been oh, once. No, <laughs> all jokes aside, I hope you liked the an Anthelone sweets I packed in as well. Sorry this one's a bit short, but I said you'd enjoy the sweets more than the Mountain Dew you bought. I will enjoy anything more than the Mountain Dew I bought, but thank you very much. If you ever actually plan to visit Dublin City here in Ireland like you did Japan long after the Backstreet Boys reunion tour is finished. I can show you some local shops and even a leprechaun museum. By the way, if you don't mind, what happened to your top 10 video on your favorite anime? Okay, one, I would love that. And two, that is the most embarrassing video I've ever made in my life and no one deserves to witness that. So in this video, I thought I should share 10 of my all-time favorite anime with you. <laughs> oh, it's the eel. <laughs> that took me a second. Thank you all so much for all the fan mail. Uh, I'll try and cover more next time. I'm gonna try and get through it quickly because that pile is getting way bigger than I was prepared for. And of course, if you want to send some fan mail for me to get to in 12 months time, please send it to this address right here. And I'll see you all in the next video.